hi guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be unboxing the polar h10 heart rate monitor so i just got this off on amazon this will be my first time opening this box with you and i'll be sharing my first impression and the reason why i got this heart rate monitor is because the one that i was using before broke uh, it's the same chest strap uh, polar h10 but the one that i had came with a watch so when the watch broke i couldn't use the chest strap without the watch connected to it i did look up some reviews online before i purchased this on amazon and it seems to be having really good reviews so let's go ahead and do a quick unboxing of this this is my first time actually opening this box so i'm very curious to see what's inside so let's see so the polar h10 heart rate monitor so we'll see what's inside this small white box it comes with a chest strap uh and also comes with a built-in memory bluetooth device so let's go ahead and connect everything and at the back of that uh memory board uh this is where the battery goes so i took it out just to see if the battery was in so I'm going to put it back. Uh, so now I'm going to connect the built-in memory to the chest strap. So on the chest strap, you're going to see these two small dots that connects to the polar Bluetooth. So once you have the chest strap connected and everything, you have to put it like close where your heart rate is for more accurate reading. Also, I got one of these at Walmart. This is what I usually use when I go for my jog. So this is where you can put your water so that way you stay hydrated. So this thing only costs 20 bucks at Walmart. Uh, it's pretty convenient and this is where I can put my phone if I want to take my phone with me. So at this point, we're going to connect the Polar H10 app and the heart rate monitor for it can read my... So you download the Polar H10 on your phone and then you enter your information such as your weight, your height, your date of birth, uh, in any personal information that the app asks you. So this, this is where you're going to connect your Polar H10 with your heart monitor. So you, you just want to make sure that like the HR sensor is on before you begin your workout. Training started. And you then, are burning fat. And then you click start. Training started. You are burning fat. So this is where I'm going to put my phone with me. So when I looked up the reviews online, it says that you don't necessarily need to take your phone with you, but I haven't figured it out how to do it. I tried it, but then I find it, it wasn't reading my progress when I left my phone behind, especially when I went for running. So leaving my phone only works if I'm in the close proximity with the app and the heart rate monitor. So you just have to buckle this on your waist. Uh, and I find that like this stretch is a bit too, it's a bit too big for me. So I might have to adjust it next time when I go running. As I, as you can see, like it's, it looks like it's about to fall off as I run. So I'm gonna go ahead for a quick jog just to test this heart rate monitor. And I'm gonna take you along with you guys. Okay.
So this is my reading. This is how long the exercise was, how many calories I gained, how far I went, how many percent of fat did I burn. Not only does this heart rate monitor calculate your calorie burn, it also measures your aerobic fitness and helps you determine whether your sweat session was fat burning or an overall improvement on your general fitness. I really like this heart rate monitor and I highly recommend it. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this quick review of Polar Exchange Heart Rate Monitor for those who may consider to invest uh, in a heart rate monitor to track their progress. So please don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much guys for watching. See you next time. Bye.